Hello everyone, my name is Sahan from UC San Diego and today I'm presenting our work Nascent, which is the near storage acceleration of database source on a smart SSD. Uh, moving data has always been hard. In 1956, a 5 megabyte hard disk drive that was manufactured by IBM could only be transported on a truck or airplane because it weighed almost a ton. Since then, the size of the storage devices has been reduced dramatically. Even though the size of the storage devices has been reduced, still moving data to or from the storage devices is the slowest operation in computers. In the past 20 years, the capacity of the storage devices has been increased for 376 times. However, communicating with these storage devices cannot catch up. Since 2000, the output bandwidth of storage devices has only been improved for 48 times, which is 8 times less than the capacity growth. Therefore, in many applications, specifically in IO-bound applications, the performance of the system is limited by the storage-to-computation node bandwidth. In other words, more advanced CPUs or accelerators cannot improve the overall performance of these systems. In conventional systems, the storage devices are connected to the host CPU through PCIe buses. PCIe provides limited simultaneous access to different SSDs, which limits the scalability of the system when independent operations are called on different storage devices in parallel. As you can see, as the number of storage devices increases, the performance of the system saturates and cannot further increase. These issues increase the gap between the performance capacity of the storage devices and the interconnection bus that makes us to move the computation cl computations closer to where the data is stored. And this has become possible by a recent advances in in-storage computing devices. Recent processing systems aims to uh, offload operations to storage drives uh, to, to the greatest possible extent to minimize the data transfer between the host and the storage. Also, unlike compute-intensive applications, IO-bound applications do not benefit from high-performance host processors, and their performance is limited by the host-to-storage bandwidth. Therefore, offloading IO-bound applications to computational storage devices release the host resources to execute more compute-intensive tasks. Typically, Databases can significantly benefit from near storage computing as database operations are principally read intensive, such that uh, in some applications, 90% of the total execution time is spent on uh, IO read. As the size of the real world databases is growing, storing uh, databases require multiple storage devices. Database management systems partition databases into multiple partitions and break down the operations into multiple independent operations on the partitioned database. Although these independent operations can be executed in parallel, as the performance of IO-bound applications is limited by the storage to host bandwidth, host processors cannot fully utilize the partitioning opportunity. However, in computational storage devices, each storage device has its own computation resource. Therefore, it can perform the independent operations inside each uh, computational storage device without occupying the storage to host bandwidth. In particular, sort operation is widely used in database query processing as a standalone operation or as the backbone of more complex database operations, such as merge, join, distinct, order by, group by, and etc. As you can see here, in TPCH benchmark, 21 out of 22 queries required sort operations. Only one does not have sort operation. Several devices have been introduced to bring the computation power into the flash storage devices. Uh, NGD systems, scale flux, and Samsung smart SSD are examples of computational uh, devices. NGD systems develop computational storage with a multi-core uh, ARM processor. 
uh, ScaleFlux has developed computational storage devices with built-in accelerators for compression, decompression, and other customized database operation. And, and, uh, and a smart SSD is an NVMe flash drive with an onboard FPGA chip to perform computations uh, inside the storage devices. F, uh, and it uses FPGA as its computational node to provide high degree of parallelism and affordable power consumption and reconfigurability to implement uh, various type of applications in parallel. Uh, several works have tried to accelerate different applications on computational storage devices. Uh, uh, Database a scan, filter, and project, compress, project, restrict, and visibility. Least intersection uh, database operations are implemented in different works on uh, computational storage devices. And in another uh, orthogonal research path, there are works to emulate the performance of, uh, of loading operations on uh, computational storage devices. In this work, we propose the first near storage accelerator for database sort operation. So uh, in conventional uh, computer systems, the storage devices are connected to the host CPU through PCIe bus, and a an standalone uh, accelerator may be connected to the PCIe bus as well. However, in a smart SSD, uh, a smart SSD consists of uh, components of a general SSD, such as SSD controller and NAND array, as well as an additional FPGA accelerator, and an FPGA DRAM and PCIe search uh, that uh, enables the communication between the NAND array and the FPGA to provide direct communication between them and the host. Uh, in a smart SSD, processor is able to issue common SSD commands, such as uh, SSD read and write requests to the SSD controller, and it's, it is also able to issue FPGA computation requests and FPGA DRAM read and write requests. And as you can see, uh, multiple smart SSDs have their own FPGA and they can communicate directly without uh, involving the host CPU. In this work, we utilize smart SSC to implement the first near storage accelerator for database sort. When sorting a database, all the table columns are sorted based on a single column called the key column. Due to the large number of columns, real board databases are complicated to sort since after sorting the key column, the rest of the table needs to be shuffled accordingly. The shuffle operation reads all rows of the table and creates a new table in which the key column is sorted. As you can see here, uh, nascent consists of three kernels, Bythonic sort, dictionary decoder, and shuffle. Uh, most uh, database management systems often use data encoding to compress the stored data into the storage devices. Dictionary encoding is a lossless one-to-one -one compression method which replaces attributes from a large domain with small numbers. Therefore, uh, nascent supports dictionary decoding, uh, Bythonic sort which uh, sorts the key column, and the shuffle operations to sort the rest of the table based on the key column. First, uh, I introduce the uh, sort kernel, which is developed based on Bythonic sort. A Bythonic sort is a sorting network that can be run in parallel. In a sorting network, the number of comparisons and the order of comparisons are predetermined and data independent, which makes it a great algorithm to run on FPGA as it can efficiently be parallelized. A Bythonic sort first converts an arbitrary sequence of numbers into multiple Bythonic sequences. And the Bythonic sequence is a partially sorted array which consists of two sorted segments, one ascending and the other descending. By merging two Bythonic sequences, it creates a longer Bythonic sequence and proceeds until sorting the entire input. Here you see an example of sorting eight inputs. First, uh, we create a Bythonic sequence of length 4, 3, 4, 8, 1, 
two, six, and seven, five. And by merging these two Vitonic sequence, we create a single Vitonic sequence with length of eight. And uh, this Vitonic sequence of length of eight uh, will be uh, sorted to create the sorted array of the input. In the paper, uh, you can find more details about the implementation and the details of Vitonic sort. Nascent sort kernel is developed based on Vitonic sort and it is scalable to sort various data sizes and it outputs the sorted indices. Uh, and uh, Nascent uses the sorted indices to sort the rest of the rows of the table. Uh, the benefit of using uh, Nascent is it, it is scalable, so uh, the performance of the sort kernel can be uh, adjusted based on the available resources of the FPGA, and uh, we can easily increase or decrease the parallelism. And uh, the other uh, kernel that uh, we use in uh, Nascent is the shuffle. It gets the output of the Bythonic sort uh, kernel and sorts the, the rest of the table based on the key column. Basically, uh, the shuffle operation is an IO bound operation because uh, we, read, uh, we read the rows and write them in different orders. For our performance target is fully utilizing the SSC to FPGA bandwidth. And uh, to achieve the uh, performance target, the data layout has significant impact on the performance. One approach is storing the data in column-wise format. Uh, the column-wise format is good for the sort kernel because uh, in the sort kernel, we are going to read a column and reading adjacent uh, elements in the memory uh, is faster than random memory accesses. The other approach is the row-wise arrangement of the table. This is good for uh, the shuffle operations because in the shuffle operation we are reading an entire row and it is good to have all the elements of the row adjacent to each other so we avoid uh, random memory accesses. But um, uh, to have the benefit of both uh, arrangements, in nascent we propose the hybrid uh, layout. It is stores the key column in the column-wise format, and the rest of the tables is stored in row-wise format. So uh, in both kernels, we have a minimum number of random memory accesses. Uh, but still, uh, between each rows, we will have uh, random memory accesses. Therefore, uh, a single shuffle operation cannot saturate the SSC to FPGA bandwidth. Therefore, uh, we need multiple uh, shuffle uh, kernels to fully saturate the SSC to FPGA bandwidth. And since uh, this uh, kernel is uh, IO bound and it doesn't do any computation, uh, the resource utilization of the shuffle kernel uh, is not significant, so we can have multiple shuffle uh, kernels easily. And the other uh, main uh, kernel in the nascent is the dictionary. In database management systems, the data is often compressed and is stored in the storage system to reduce the number of required storage devices to store the database. And one of the most widely used compression techniques is uh, dictionary encoding, which is used as a standalone compression technique or as a step combined with other compression techniques such as in Parquet. Dictionary encoding is a lossless compression technique that maps each value to a key Using uh, dictionary encoding is beneficial when the range of the number is significantly higher than the number of unique values. And um, in, in nascent dictionary decoding kernel, we use uh, multiple copies of the dictionary to parallelize the dictionary decoding. And we load the dictionary table into the FPGA on-chip memories, BRAMs, because uh, the dictionary table is 
repetitively accessed uh, to decode the data. And we have multiple copies to increase the parallelism. And we use and we uh, propose the novel dictionary table architecture to support different uh, input and output bitwits. Uh, nascent dictionary decoding kernel is uh, compatible with uh, all the fixed length uh, data types, and the input and output can have uh, any length. Uh, the dictionary table is byte addressable and for each data, it reads an entire row, and uh, based on the inputs bit width and outputs bit width, it selects the uh, corresponding elements in the dictionary for the output. In our experiments, uh, nascent is implemented on smart SSD. A smart SSD consists of a 4 terabyte uh, SSD directly connected to a Kintex Ultra Scale Plus FPGA KU50. Uh, through a PCIe Gen3 X4 bus. Here in this table, you see the available resources on a smart SSD, and nascent kernels are uh, written in C++ and synthesized using Vitus design flow. And we evaluate the performance of nascent uh, from reading the data from the storage and writing the data back to the storage. And we compare the performance of uh, nascent against uh, software on Intel Core i7 CPU and FPGA baseline with nascent kernels, but on uh, conventional storage devices. Uh, nascent stored kernel fits up to 128K elements on the uh, on-chip memory. And uh, therefore, uh, input sequences smaller than 128K elements will be sorted in a single iteration without communicating with, with DRAM. And for larger number of inputs, nascent sorts the first 128K elements and writes them back to DRAM and fetches uh, the next batch of the data until it sorts the entire uh, input. Therefore, uh, for uh, arrays smaller than 128K elements, the performance is um, 7.5 times uh, better than CPU. And for uh, Longer than 128K elements, the performance is around 1.8 times faster than CPU. And uh, nascent sort kernel provides 30.6 to 61 times uh, energy efficiency improvement over CPU. Uh, the performance results of the previous slide was uh, when we read the data from DRAM. And in this slide, uh, you see the performance of uh, nascent when both CPU and nascent reads the data directly from the storage device. And in this case, the performance improvement goes uh, up to uh, 7.5 times. And uh, the energy efficiency uh, increases to 53 times uh, improvement. And please note that for the software implementation of the sort, we use the fastest uh, quick sort implementation on CPU uh, to have a fair comparison because Bitonic sort is good for FPGA and it is not as efficient as uh, quick sort on CPU. We also evaluate the performance of the dictionary decoding kernel. And as you can see here, the red line shows the um, maximum storage to FPGA bandwidth. And as you can see, nascent uh, saturates the storage to FPGA bandwidth in all cases, uh, but the CPU implementation cannot achieve the uh, storage to CPU bandwidth. And uh, the main uh, improvement of using a, a computational storage devices comes when we have uh, multiple smart SSDs, and with 12 smart SSDs, nascent is 7.6 times faster and 5.6 times more energy efficient than the FPGA baseline, and it is uh, more than 140 times faster and uh, 130 times more energy efficient than CPU. In conclusion, database operations are IO intensive, and specifically, sort operation is also widely used and uh, can benefit from uh, near storage computing. And nascent is the first near storage accelerator for database sort on a smart SSD. It consists of dictionary decoding, sort, and shuffle kernels uh, to support end-to-end -end table sort on a smart SSD. 
and nascent uh, with 12 smart SSDs is 7.6 times faster and 5.6 times more energy efficient than the same accelerator using the conventional storage architectures. Thank you for your listening.